Hi everyone, I'm finally back after, uh, about nine or ten months. Yeah, sorry for the wait up. But, on the bright side, it seems like there's a lot more of you now. Yeah, I was surprised to see that my reviews actually gained a little bit of an audience while I was gone. So, for those of you who have been patiently waiting for quite a while, let's finally get around to talking about Detective Conan Movie 5, Countdown to Heaven. This movie was fantastic. I'd say overall it's my second favourite so far. I didn't like it quite as much as Captured in Her Eyes, but it's not like it's leagues behind it or anything. I wouldn't have agreed with that on my first viewing since the film didn't really click with me when I first saw it, but I rewatched it for this review and I ended up loving it a lot. The film mostly takes place in the newly built Twin Tower buildings, as Conan tries to solve a set of serial murders while the villain plots to blow up the towers. The film really excels with its emotional beats. Hybera in particular had some really great scenes despite her plot not really going anywhere in the last act. There's a scene where she tries to sacrifice herself and that's one of the best in the film. There's also a really clever setup near the start where they try and make you think Hyber is still in contact with the Black Order. Well, the way the they went about it really surprised me, which is good because I was expecting some big twist villain or liar revealed trope both of which I really don't like, and I'm glad this movie didn't fall into that trap. Bran, as usual, was super well written in this movie. The scenes with her acting as a big sister character of sorts to the detective boys were really cute, and even got a chuckle out of me, specifically her talk with Ayumi. My favourite scene in the movie involved her too, with her jumping from the building with a fire hose wrapped around her. It was tense, emotional, and cool to see Ran actually do something epic for once. The other four films up until this point had really been lacking in that category, but at least Captured in Her Eyes had an excuse. As usual, the film is really well animated and features a great score. It even sports my second favourite variation of the Detective Conan main theme. Uh, anyway, we should probably go over the film's flaws before we close this out. The villain in this film was really weak in both motivation and in the reveal. Yeah, I usually don't end up guessing who the villain is in these films, but this was one of only three times where I did, the others being the first movie and one you'll see later down the line. Not that it was super obvious from the clues they left, but the film felt like it was trying really hard to make a certain character seem like an obvious red herring, only to reveal they were actually the villain the whole time. And like Mr. Theatre already said, their motivation for wanting to kill their victims was laughably awful. But for more minor issues, while the Detective Boys were really good, half of their plot lines didn't really go anywhere. Ayumi and Genta had some pretty good moments, Ayumi's crush on Conan actually played into the film's climax, and one of Genta's throwaway lines actually comes back near the end, which was a surprise, but a welcome one. Ai's plotline of her calling her dead sister didn't really go anywhere towards the end, which is a shame because it was such a good setup. Mitsuhiko also has a setup where he talks to Rana and that goes nowhere. It could have been cut out altogether, especially considering Ayumi had pretty much an identical scene immediately afterwards. But those are the only real issues we had with the film, and even with them in mind, they don't really take away from how much we love this movie. It excels with its story, writing, animation, and music, much like every other Conan film. Easily my second favourite ones of the ones that I've covered so far. Yeah, I can agree with that, and I'd give this film a 9 out of 10. Yeah, same. I'd give it a 9 as well. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this one. Ah, thanks for having me. I hope I get to come back at some point to go over my all-time favourite movie, Jolly Roger in the Deep Azure. Ah yes, Jolly Roger in the Deep Azure. 
everyone's favorite. <laughs> you know, the one with the most consistently low ratings on like every website ever. Speaking of ratings, next time I'll be covering Detective Conan The Phantom of Baker Street. The Detective Conan movie that every single review site seems to unanimously agree is the best movie of the bunch. Will I agree with this? Well, you'll have to wait and see. For now, I would highly recommend this movie to any fans of the franchise, or even those who just like mystery or thriller movies. This was a great ride, and that is one truth that will always prevail.